What up, what up, everybody? We are finally back. I know it's been a minute, but the hard corner is back. Thank you to everybody who's been waiting patiently because I've been getting hit up a lot. People have been asking. we just been regrouping, taking care of a lot of little things, you know, around, you know, life. But um, shout out to everybody who's been um, still tapping in and catching up or just tuning in for the first time, subscribing to Patreon and all that. Shout out to the Patreon, by the way. We just dropped, I think I dropped four different um, podcasts on there. So shout out to everybody who already checked out the last couple podcasts we did. And I actually check out the new podcast. You're going to see that after you listen to this episode. We got uh, Malachi from Scow, And I also got uh, the boys from the Chisel on another one. So make yeah. sure you subscribe. And um, uh, Busky, before I see what's up with you, before we start anymore, um, I want to give a quick rest in peace. I, unfortunately, I, we got to start one of these with another rest in peace. Like we were just talking. Um, rest in peace to my boy, Low from Growing Movement. My boy, Low, he's one of my first friends I met when I went to Germany. This guy right here. I mean, I don't know what I don't know how and, and what way to say it. But um, from day one, he was, you know, one of us. Look at this guy. He has a face of a killer. He was a, a, a former boxer. He sang for a band called Growing Movement. And he had a face of a killer, but was the sweetest guy you would ever meet. He loved hip-hop, New York hardcore. He loved Scarhead, Mabel, Murphy's Law, all of that. And it sucked. He was fighting. Um, he was fighting his illness for a long, long time. And like a trooper, it couldn't get him that you know it yeah. took a while but um my brother low rest in peace shout out to everybody who was out there whoever looked out for him whoever you know he was always on stage with us and everybody because he had you know shout out to low shout out to Ed, the rest of the growing movement family rest in peace we love yeah. you low rest in peace and now busky it's been a minute i mean we talked quick you know you you've had a we went through a couple of uh, yeah. ice thighs and a yeah. couple of things since the last episode. How you doing? Uh, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm back. And like you, thank you, everybody, for hanging in there and uh, checking back in with us. It's definitely been a minute. I had a cool little sty infection on my eye last week, so it took me out of the game for a week. And, you know, life happens, but uh, we're back at it. So, yeah, yeah, I thought you had a, what do you call it? A pink eye. And I was going to say, you know, Busky put some doo-doo in his eye. Some he put in his hand. Nah, that's what I thought it was. I'm glad it wasn't, though. It was somebody. But, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> but, yo, but definitely we, we're back. Um, actually, we're taking one more week off next week because I fly out tomorrow. I got one week in Europe, but then we are back on regular schedule. We have a lot of stuff. On this show, and we have a lot of stuff so we could catch up. But um, yeah, right now we want to announce a show in Dirty Jersey. Let us know this is, you know, what's good to see. Um, this the show's back at Dingbats, and I think some yeah. of the fellas are doing them. What, yep. what, what you know about this? Um, yeah, you guys, Madball will be in the building. Um, Marauder featuring Minus. If you guys have been paying any attention, you'll you'll notice that uh they've been playing a couple shows and they sound better than ever and it's great. So cool great. to see them, you know, getting out of Florida and uh, coming back up this way. Uh, never again. Very cool new band, uh, younger yep. band. Uh, another really cool Jersey band called Bayway, whose name great. I've been seeing and hearing yep. a lot recently. So Jersey, for sure. And uh, Disjoin. A uh, young new band also opening up. Yeah. And like you said, a dingbat. So it's cool to see dingbats, dingbats back at it. And uh, shout out to Mike Wilson. Shout out to Mike Torado. Shout out to Andrew, all the Jersey guys for, you know, holding it down. Hell yeah, definitely. I'm glad to see it. And for some reason, you see, that's a very special date there because I heard that's the date that only kings, pharaohs, and other powerful human beings are born. Oh, by the way, that's my birthday. Too, oh, so. shit. September go. 2nd, Dingbats, Dirty Jersey. I know they were doing shows there before. It's good to see you back. And definitely, last time I saw Marauder, they, I was blown away. I was yeah. with you, Busky, by the way. Yep. And they killed it. And I'm glad to see my brother mine is back at it. And um, good to hear. Good to see the uh, Dirty Jersey. Good to see shows again. And, yep. you know, the one-on-one spot. So Dirty Jersey represent. Yeah. And... Today, we have a lot of, you know, when we say where the spot where the news brings you the news, 
Shout out to my bro, Howie Abrams. He just reminded me today. Today marks on this day in 1994, Mad Boy dropped Set It Off. Yes. Everybody who don't know, that's the first record. There it goes. And a little tidbit for everybody on who don't know. Uh, set It Off and It's Time were the first songs I wrote for Mad Boy. And Set It Off, lyrics and music by your boy. Yeah. Yo, Barry Manilow, watch your ass. I'm coming to the <laughs> job, you heard? But yeah, it's, you know, how many years that makes it? I, I got yeah. my GD. So uh, since 94, what's that, 28 years? 28? Uh, nine, something like that, yeah. You know, who who would have thought we would have lasted this long and been doing this shit this long? This fucking kid with the gun is already old and fucking... Totally. Totally you know, over it, hardcore at this point. This yeah, and, this and anti gun. This kid was now yep. was anti gun. You know, yep. so like it's Little like that's how know, <laughs> you know on the cover of one of the best hardcore records ever, and he's already you know, over it. but that de- but definitely um a uh a, 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 a landmark, a little uh a staple in, in my um for me personally as a musician, putting yeah. my flag in the ground, you know, with this music shit again for me. You know, we always just did music for we wanted to do it. But I always my main thing was to do this when yeah. people talked about AF, when people talked about Murphy's Law, when people talked about the Crow Mags, we wanted them when they said Mad Boy in the same breath and have it not feel out of place. Yeah. I said, yo, that's all I ever wanted out of this shit. Yeah. So Records I think, amazing, you, know, you know, and let me talk about it for two seconds, because obviously I'm a, a huge fan and it's a massive influence for me and our generation, you know, that came after this. And I definitely remember hearing this. I actually heard it on on uh, a radio station first, local radio station played it. And I was like, holy shit, like it was insane. You know what I mean? Just yeah. the quality, the musicianship, the songwriting, just everything. It really had just like a real New York city new york hardcore feel and then you see the artwork you know and the layout the graffiti the hand style i mean the whole thing it's just it's a perfect perfect assembly of a the times and just new york city hardcore in general so congratulations to you guys is a fucking you know thank yeah, you thank man. you beautiful thank beautiful, you. beautiful yeah. record you yeah, know that one no for sure I, you know definitely proud of it just because again you know it was a special time, like, you know, everything kind of fell into place, you yeah. know, from, you know, what Howie from this, even the record. I remember the rec, you know, him showing us the pictures and we we're like, yo, that's the picture. But we yeah. were like, we got to crop it. We need the baby and the gun yeah. mainly. You know, I remember speaking about it. I remember speaking yeah. about certain record covers and rolling up to Road Runner and all that. And shout out to Monty. We're yeah. just, um, um, I, you know, Monty and, 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 and Howie, if I don't see if they keep me posted on so many um, old school events and stuff that happened throughout the years. So shout out to them. Alvin. Yeah. And what a great team at that time, you know, and those guys are all still troopers Kellis. and they're all still X-Men. huge. Yeah, man. Just like heavyweights in the game, you know, X-Men so. a metal, a metal and hardcore for yeah. sure. You know, yeah. and, and back then that's when they were like, you know, when you knew um, um uh Def Jam for hip hop, it didn't matter who it was. You got it. You knew it was yeah. going to be a certain level. When back then, when Roadrunner was Roadrunner, yeah. you knew what you were getting. You were getting you were getting killers. Yeah. So, you know, shout out to Roadrunner. Shout out to Howie. Shout out to Monty. Shout out to the baby with the pistol. That's right. <laughs> you know, That's but right. um, but yeah, it's been, I don't know, whatever, 28 years. Crazy. But um, who else we got? We got this. These are some other OGs right here. Dying yeah. fetus. Hell yeah. Uh, um, you can't beat it, man. You know, technical, brutal death metal. They've always been the kings of it. Shout out to Baltimore for, you know, having an amazing, you know, music scene. And these guys are the kings. So uh, death metal overlords, dying fetus return where their highly anticipated new album. Make them beg for death on uh, relapse September 8th. So. I'm pretty sure pre-orders are up right now, and uh, I think some of the packages have even sold out. So good to see that people are, you know, hungry oh, yeah. for some fetus. There's, there's a video, <laughs> right, for this? A little yeah. Bit. Gator, hit let's hit him with something. Yeah. Yo, 
I didn't know Dying Fetus was from Baltimore. Yeah. Yo, I like them even more now. Yep. Because and, yeah, they've uh, been around forever, OG, yeah. and I didn't expect them to be. I didn't. I never knew that. It's crazy. And they're legit dudes. I have to say, I did a run with them, you know, recently, and they're just great dudes to tour with, great dudes to be around, hang with. They know what they're talking about. They know music. They definitely oh, yeah. know hardcore music, and they love it, you know. Yeah. Uh, so they've been great around. dudes. Yeah, I know of them yeah man, they've yeah. been around forever, and like you know, they definitely are overlords of that scene. So, oh yeah, definitely support them, and uh, good to see them on relapse too. You know, Killing there was up, uh, yeah, and, and and on that whole metal hardcore thing, there's the return of the New England Metal Hardcore Fest. Now, when I first saw this flyer. I literally thought it was a throwback flyer at first. Yeah, right. Because all these bands played this back in the day, but maybe in different. It was yep. switched around in different yeah. orders. And I'm shit. sure Parkway Drive was opening back then. I'm not exactly. sure they would have been headlining and whatever, but no, totally. Exactly. But, you know, tw the, the 20, the 23, the return of the New England. And it used to be the, the New England Metal Fest. Yeah. Right. And now they, they added the it. hardcore, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Do, you, do you remember when they switched it? How long? Ago? I don't remember. No, but I definitely remember playing the New England Metal Fest. So yes. I don't remember when it changed to metal and hardcore, though. Yeah, I thought the next thing I, I'm waiting for the New England Metal and Them Fest. Yeah. But no, but what, <laughs> <laughs> no, but they always they kill it. Shout out yeah. to the you know New England. They all that that's. Man, I believe me if I could. Hey, hit me up. Yo, yo who does it? Scott Lee. Yo, Scott, Scott Lee. Lee. Yeah. Listen. Get me those plane tickets. You get the spoken word in the building, you know? No, but yeah. that's a fest that I always loved because, number one, the, the East Coast has very limited festivals and 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 always bangers, yeah. you know? And, and again, he, you know, Scott, he knows what's up. It was always mixed the 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 yep. real the the who the who's a who of metal with the who's who of metal core and the who's who of hardcore. Yeah. So you know what I mean? It always look at this. Look at this. Just start from the bottom. Yep. Busky. What do we uh, got? Here? Well, let's start on Friday. You know, start off with Make oh, Them yeah. Suffer on Friday and North Lane, the Amity Affliction, and then Parkway Drive from they're Australian, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. First of all, shout out to Parkway Drive. Listen, yeah. we ran into them years ago, right? Um, and we knew the Australia, whatever you blah blah blah. Next thing I know, these guys are just oh. arenas murking everywhere. And they sound dope. They can yeah. like they really sound like a, like a record. Yeah, it's amazing. It's really cool to see that happen, you know, because same thing with you. I remember them sort of starting off as just a de like a demo hardcore band, you know. Yep. And next thing I know, I don't know. I feel like we were in Australia at one point and they were huge already. And I was like, shit. Yeah. So shout yeah. out to them. Again, cool to see bands coming from the other side of the world and, and being able to come, you know, this way and, and kill it still. So yeah, Friday, that's sure. cool. Saturday. Uh, it looks like it's a banger all day long. Um, lineup is massive. Kicking off with Undeath, um, Tribal Gaze, Ringworm, Pale Face, which apparently looks like they're from Switzerland. Uh, cool new band called Momentum from California, Judiciary, Hazing Over, Gates to Hell, Fuming Mouth, Frozen Soul, uh, Enterprise Earth, Darkest Hour, Crown, Magnetar and 200 stab wounds. And then you get into, you know, some Jesus. of the bigger names, the meat of the show, Vein FM, 100 Demons are doing a uh, a special lineup of the In the Eyes of the Lord lineup. Shout out to, to Reach and, 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 and yeah. uh, I'm Steak and Shake. He knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Doug Webber. Yeah. Uh, were you there, Busky? But I, know I don't know, but it sounds yeah. familiar. <laughs> you actually might have been there. It and sounds familiar, so. But um yeah, but uh, and we speaking of you know of, of, of Doug Meathead and we got Terra, yeah, you know the Killers. They they I, I'm hoping to see them, um in Europe. I think we have some sh a show with them. So um good boom, and then we got um Chelsea's Grin. Yep, they're doing um Despise Icon. They've been grinding fifth for an autopsy. Shout out to fifth for an autopsy too, man. Killing it. That's that's some hardcore motherfuckers right yep. there. You know doing their thing in that world. What, what would you consider the metalcore, the, the fifth one autopsy? Yeah, I guess sure. Nowadays, yeah, metalcore. Yeah, core, right. You know, they've got their for, own lane for that now. Yeah, and then you got Dying Fetus, Black Dahlia Murder. Shout out to them. The OG Shadows Fall. Listen, you got a Hey Breed and Lamb of God. What more yeah. you want? This is like a, a Ozfest. 
yeah. you know. You it's, know like, I, mean, I mean, and that is a le- legit New England hardcore or New England metal and hardcore festival lineup. You know, and like yeah. you said, it looks like a flyer from, you know, 10, 15 years ago when they used to do it. So and, shout and out no to jo- Scott yeah. Lee, man. He knows yeah. what he's doing. For sure. And no joke, these same, all these bands, this is why it looks so familiar, played all these spots in Massachusetts, Worcesters and all these other like b- different bills, you know, it, yeah. it's like it's it's pretty crazy yeah. that the flyers always get me like I think it's a throwback and it's a new, yeah, you know, new batch of shows. And, yeah. and that's dope, man. I'm ho- I'm a- I'm going to try to catch one of these real soon, man. I really. Yeah, try to they were always great, them. man. You know, I think about it, you know, you think back to those days sometimes and it's like, wow, this was one of those staple East Coast festivals, you know, yeah. like whether you were playing it, which at the time a lot of us were or you weren't playing it, you still went. You know, yeah. it's like definitely I, I think back to being able to play it quite a few times. And it's like, wow, you know, it was an honor to play this thing because it really was, you know, a uh, one of the first sort of metal slash metal core slash hardcore fest. You know, and you think about a lot of the a lot of those bands that spawned that era were these guys. It was Shadows Fall who yep. are from the area or yeah. it was Kill Switch and Gage who were from the area, you know, or Hatebreed, you know, who were very close to the area. And it was really that area exactly. that created it. So, yeah, 100 Demons, that's part yeah. of that DNA right there. That's yeah. like, exactly it, very it, cool it's, to see. It's good. And, and, and New England always kept it New England. So, yeah. you know, shot that's at the Palladium at Worcester, yeah. Mass, September 15th and 16th. Friday, Saturday. And I like that Friday. We talked about it before that Friday, Saturday thing. Yeah. You know, let Sunday's Sunday recover. Sunday's for God. Even for you heathens out there that, you know, you guys that, that fetuses and not topsy people. <laughs> Listen, even even I think Satan even has off on Sundays. All right. Yeah, so give me so. a break. All right. <laughs> and then um, what else do we got going on? We're going from Satan to boots and braces right we now. Are. We got authentic productions presents. Yeah. Well, we got August 19th, Brooklyn. You you actually put me on to this. It was good to see some freaking some something a little classic and a little different and something back. We yeah. have, a, you know, a proper oi punk show. What we got here? What you know about this? We got uh first shout out to Authentic Productions. That's kind of um, <clears throat> New York's, you know, younger, newer um, sort of, you know, punk oi booking production company so shout out to them um oh, yeah. cool flyer obviously like you said good throwback you know what you get in the minute you see the flyer uh very cool show saturday august 19th coming up with 11th hour uh big dog exhibition the stress and conservative military image gotcha. um first thing for me is name. i don't really you know again I, I listen to a lot of different styles of music hardcore whatever punk oi is just one of those things that i love it it's just never on necessarily my radar yeah. so when i saw this i was like i'm very excited to check out all these bands because i know that i'm gonna like at least one or two or three of them and they're all great dude i went through and i listened to every one of these bands on spotify or Bandcamp, and they're fucking great you know so exhibition and rips from buffalo uh the stress is from here in long island great name i love that name the stress yeah, man. and obviously conservative military images you know doing their thing big name kind of popping up now and it's fucking great stuff so definitely check this out even if you're a meathead that likes to just you know mosh and punch people i mean there's a room for all of this stuff if it wasn't for a lot of the punk stuff you know yeah. there wouldn't be the hardcore shit so for sure and and, and i love i'm i'm more I was always more the metal and not yeah. so much the punk stuff, but more the oi stuff. So, yeah. I, you know, I mess with all this stuff. So I love to see it. I love the sidewalk sandwich right there. Homeboys yep. getting. Yep. And um, but I definitely want to check it out. And again, I you know, when I hear some good, that's the thing about um, the thing I loved about oi music was there, there's songs in oi music. You know what I mean? Yeah, you could totally. hear the songs yep. in it. You didn't need to hide behind a heavy distortion. It's like you had to had something. You know what I mean? So, and I think that's why <clears throat> growing up, it didn't necessarily appeal to me because I was a metal heavy. Yeah. Dude. You know, I like the beat downs. And I like the mosh. So I, I was around all this stuff. You know, I was yeah. around the buzzcocks and all this stuff. Grow Sham 69, all of it. It just didn't it didn't stick. And I never wore the shirts and I never collected the records, but I knew it and I liked it. But now as an adult, yeah. I appreciate it as, you know, music, great music and very catchy amazing music you know so yeah. definitely check this out put put authentic productions on your radar i know he's got a couple more shows coming up in like september and october even so yeah. so you're yeah, definitely this is saturday august 19th 7 p.m 
in Brooklyn. Go check them out. 15 at the door. 20, you know, 15 advanced, 20 at the door. Definitely go represent, you know, New York City. And yeah. this is part of the DNA of all our stuff. You know, the oi, the punk, the hardcore, the hip hop, everything. So go support this. And um, yeah, we actually, it's been a while since, since we took a little break. This video now is a couple of weeks old, but I was out in California filming from the new show we're about to drop called The Heavy Collective. For people out there who don't know real quick, it's I, a travel show. I travel connecting the, the dots with the cannabis culture, the music culture, and the local businesses around the, 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 the state. But anyway, we were in L.A. Uh, we got to, to catch Angel Dust and end it, you know, while we were out there. So, you know, the hard corner was in the building. I had to, you know, I had to bring you guys with me. So I got some footage. So um, let's hit them with a little something, Gator. What up, everybody? Hoya Rock with that Hardcore exclusive. Ended in the building. Shout out to Angel Dust. Yo. <laughs> the Hardcore in the building. killed that we in somewhere in California. The most important thing we got Moon Morse right over here. All that matters is we got Moon Morse so the show could be over. We're going home. That's it. Get up. Everybody, Hoya Rock. We're recapping over here. We're in Highland Park. The Angel Dust ended show. We got the man with the plan. You already know my man Stan. If you, let them know the handle if they don't know. Uh, at Stanley W. Angel Dust ended. What do you think of the whole show? It was a banger. Yeah, I gotta say. Um, you know, I'm trying to. I'm trying to make a, a little a short film movie about about the hardcore. Stuff. You know, I. It's not. I don't know if it's been done before, but I'm gonna try. Yeah, if they want to help, they want to check out my Indiegogo. They want to. Uh, you know, I'm helping. With funding stuff that'd be great and if not you know just uh watch a video or whatever um or go see hardcore band you know watching hardcore stuff helps me because i like hardcore. Absolutely. both bands killed it angel dust
killed it with the style and the end they killed it with that soul. Baltimore represented Highland Park, Smoking Word TV, Hardcore Lives. We out of here. Yeah, shout shout out to fuck it, Angel. Shout out to, to Justice for hooking that up. And yeah. shout out to Moon Toby. Everybody, listen, hit the link, support, listen, join the Patreon, or just make sure you subscribe and all that. If you want to keep the show rocking, hit that link right there. Take a picture, highlight it, do all that. It takes it to where you gotta go. We need everybody to subscribe. Shout out to everybody around the planet. We know you're out there. The UK has been hitting us hard. Dude. But um, yeah, no, it was good, man. Uh, Angel Dust killed it, and it yeah. killed it. You know, it was good to see Toby out there. Moon, shout out to everybody. You know, it, you know, California. It was yeah. good to fuck in to get that that West Coast flavor. Hell yeah, I'll be heading out there tomorrow, actually. So I look yeah. forward to uh, getting a dose of that myself. Yeah, for sure. And what else we got? What we got next? What's we next? got uh, some more New York shit. Um, Want to shout out the New York Hardcore Chronicles. Always, uh, Bro, yeah, Drew Stone, always keeping busy and always, you know, putting in work for uh, the underground. So um, he sent me these over. There's a bunch of shows coming up in the next uh, three months, July, August, September, and actually into October. So um, check these out. You know, uh, there's a little write up here. It says the once a month free all ages events at the Bowery Electric needs your support or we're going to lose them. So it's imperative that you guys come out to these things. They are free. It's amazing, you know, that he can get away with doing these things yeah. and putting on free shows. And, you know, all these bands are still lined up to play. And, uh, you know, all you got to do is just throw a tip in the tip jar. There's a tip jar there if you feel like what you should uh contributing just throw some money in there you know buy a drink even if you don't drink you know tip the bartenders i mean at all these are free shows you know so you, you have to you have to give it you know listen get, so not only is jesse an og yep he also uh, he's i consider him i look at I, i'll be honest with everybody out there i don't know him like that good i know him like what's up what's up but i know of him for many yeah. years yep. and he is uh, basically a respirator for the yeah. uh, the New York local scene because he was one of the first places to say, listen, I got a spot. All right, those clubs are asking for this, they're asking yeah. for that. Come to this spot. And they always hosted us every event we had, every after party we had. It's always been love. I, you know, I, I don't think there's... What I love about Homeboy is he's... Does it? You know he does it for the love because he's yeah. ne he's always behind the scenes, not doing it for the pat on the back, doing it because it's something he grew up he grew up from. He grew up and, from, yeah. and I think now for now, you know, again, I don't know what was going on. I just know there was um he was having so, there was a difficult time. Homeboy was going through. If any time you support anybody who has anything yeah. to do with this, would be now because yeah. not only we we should be trying to support every way possible. For somebody who gave us a spot, you know, uh, uh, to do all these things, like it's free. Yeah. And on top of that, it's yeah. free. Yeah. And not only, you know, I mean, like, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know what more you need for a springboard, like being yeah. a new band, somebody new to the scene, somebody who just wants to go see a show on a regular. Yeah. You got it. And he's giving it to you when he's given when he should be the one getting given to. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, <clears throat> that's the way this thing is supposed to work. You know, it's just supposed to give and a take and, uh, you know, an equal an equal balance of finding that you can't always take and expect to, you know, not have to give in return. So, you know, donate, do whatever you got to do to make these things keep happening, because like you said, it's a huge springboard for young bands coming up to be able to play these free shows and free places. And, you know, it's also <laughs> great, as you can see from these lineups, it's a great place for old guy or old, ba older bands and older guys to get out there and, and play locally, you know, with younger bands, doggy dog, the take school drugs, Drew's yeah, band, incendiary device, everything. Martha, Mr. Pick, all you got old, yep. new, young, old, a whole lot of ugly. And, you know, <laughs> on the real, <clears throat> Going not only going to these shows supports the scene, you're really supporting people that are like the lifeline yeah. to a, a local scene that basically birthed a scene that's 
all over the planet. So, yeah. you know, again, um, if anybody go support these shows and go check out Doe Bands again, Doggy Dog Kings never die. You got everybody. Look at yeah. what more you want. You know what I mean? The take, the take just dropped a brand new video too. Go check that out. That's dope. Yep. You know, and um, hell yeah. But yeah, shout out to Drew Stone too for doing this thing and you know. Keeping it moving right there on the LES. You know what I mean? Chronicles. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yep. For sure. And then um, who else we got? We got over here. We got the Brasileros. We got Cavalera. The reissue. Yeah. Sepultura reissue. Um, what we got this. It's uh, July 14th. Nuclear Blast is redropping this. This is pretty dope. Shout out to. I'm supposed to get him on the podcast. Get um, Igor. And I want to get Max too. But um, yeah. They drop us some new stuff, and man, the covers are dope, man. It's amazing, man. I don't, this is out now, so I don't know if anybody has heard this yet. Uh, if you have and you're familiar with those early recordings, I don't know. There's always somebody out there that's going to say they're, you know, the original version is better. But yeah. if you ask me, there's always room for improvement, you know, especially when you're little, literally teenagers when you know you recorded and wrote this stuff. These guys are monsters now in the music scene, and they went back, re recorded these. And they sound insane. Um, new artwork, you know, and some, I guess, some never heard before track too. But the re recordings are amazing. Arthur Risk from More Hungry, who did a lot of the uh, power trip stuff, he's definitely like a, you know, a big shot name nowadays in modern production, metal production work. Uh, total hardcore guy, you know, you've played probably a dozen shows with him. I know I've played plenty of shows with him. Great, great dude. And it's amazing to see him get his hands in a lot of these records nowadays because I know that they're massive influence, you know, highly influential records for him coming up. So to be able to get in there and tweak some knobs and re-record these records with these guys and re-release it, it sounds it sounds amazing, yeah. you know. Oh, it sounds yeah. really, really good. And I, and I always, you know, again, I, I always mess with the Blasi Lettos. They always yeah. had. I always love Sepultura, I love Cavalera Conspiracy, always. I love all that stuff. So definitely go check them out. Nuclear Blast is out yeah. now. I want to go check that out. And also, make sure you support the show. We have merch. Go to Casa de Rock. I, we had this merch for a while. Everything is done in-house. Hit the link. But right now, I show Busky. We're not ready to unleash it just yet. But we have even a new drop, a new merch drop we're about to unleash to the universe. Yes. <clears throat> and it's fire. Let me just tell you. But if you want to support the show, you want the show to keep going, the show to keep looking fly, Support, get a t-shirt, get a cap. Right now, the web store is, is very basic. We're revamping everything again because nothing's ever good enough and nothing will ever be good enough. So that's how we're doing it. We're taking everything 2.0. Support the show. Available now. CasaTheRock.com. Go get a cap. Go get a shirt. Go get whatever you need to get, but go get it. Charge it. Yep. There you go. Okay. Charge it. Spend yep. some of that cash and support, yep. but Hit the link again. Even if you don't got money, like, uh, 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 subscribe, forward, leave a comment. That is very necessary in this podcast world. We need it. So, um, yeah, go do that. And Dude. we were talk. And we were talking about Texas. Speaking of Texas, we got some new shit out of Texas. We do. Uh, I would imagine a lot of you guys. And speaking of power trip um have been turned on to this band by now uh, a band called fugitive from texas yeah. Oh, yeah. uh blake ibanez who you know played in power trip and uh, you know wrote a lot of that stuff this is his new band um with some other really great musicians namely the singer man i have to i have to shout out the singer i forget his name but he's in another band called scourge from down in texas and they actually put a record out this year also that is a top contender for me uh, as record of the year. But anyways, Fugitive, he sings in this band. Uh, Blake plays guitar. It's Power Trip, but to me, harder, a little bit more edgier, a little bit more aggressive, and uh, these are just two new songs that just fucking crush, man. They're really good. Yeah, I want to check that shit out. Oh, you got um, Blast Furnace, you know, is kind of in the Power Trip vein. It almost sounds like it could have been a Power Trip song. Um but really, really cool turnaround in the middle of the song with just like an amazing guitar solo. And the standoff is a little bit more metal, uh, very cool vocal flow. And again, you know, the singer's amazing. If anyone's checked out his other band, Scourge, if you haven't, then I suggest you should. Or definitely uh, pay attention to his vocal style, his range, uh, everything, man. This stuff is awesome. So <clears throat> shout no, out I to like Fugitive. They're going to be going places for sure. 
the early stuff I heard when he was just working yeah. on it was dope because I like yeah. that. That's I, you know, that thrash shit is what I like. So, well, you got a little something, right? I want to check this out. Definitely. Yep, yep. Yeah. Hit him, Gator. Let's see what we got. And also. <laughs> You know what I love that they 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 like the, I always love one the style because it's like my um the thrash from the era I like but they even doing the videos making yep. it look like classic or yeah. that era it's like oh, yeah that. Uh, it's pretty it's, it's pretty amazing man definitely unfortunately you didn't hear any of the vocals in there but uh, it gives you more reason to go listen to these songs and check them out but uh, they're streaming everywhere they're on Spotify they're on Bandcamp. And uh, there will be a vinyl release coming from 20 bucks spin soon. Yo, for this, so. Texas is doing their thing. Let me tell Always. you, I might just have to do a record aside. I got another. I'm going to do another band and I might have to do it in Texas. Dude, always. I, I want to get homeboy to do the record. Yep. I'm going to get homeboy on, on guitar. I'm a, I, got, I got a couple. Yeah, I might Texas. Texas. I'm going to start wearing a cowboy hat. Listen, just, I, like, need, I need a Stetson. I need brisket in the backstage. (laughs) Texas, get at me, all right? Texas. That's all I got to say. I just wish it wasn't so damn hot. Otherwise, it'd be perfect because they know. I know. They got it down, man, between the barbecue, the food, everything. You know, Texas is great. The riffs, it's great. It's just less than yeah, chock full of riffs, boy. Yeah. No, they get they know what they're doing. So definitely check this out, Fugitive. You definitely check them out, and then what else we got? And then we got N Rain. Let's get to see them with something, because yeah. um, uh, we got what's this? Something new? I haven't heard it yet, but I know they've been doing their thing for many. Oh, that's I just saw the artwork. That's yeah. dope. The T-shirt is dope. That yep. that that artwork right there. Yep. No, so what do we got? The way of all the flesh is decay. Yes. Ooh, I'm fucking nervous now. Metal. But the 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 the, the, the color scheme is dope on the album and with the uh, the record like. Yeah. Everybody, uh, you, well, you obviously you're watching this, unless you're listening, and you, you and you ain't watching the. It's it's not typical colors for yeah. your your this type of band. Yeah, a cool. relapse cool. band. You know what I mean? To have light color. We were just talking about it. How there's more color and imagery in, in album covers nowadays, even with the more aggressive bands. Yeah, pretty crazy. But what do we got over here? Uh, it's great, man, and it's kind of another one of these all-star bands. You know, if anyone uh, doesn't know, it features members of of um, All Out War, Integrity, uh, right. Exhumed, it, Pig Destroyer, and uh, Bloodlet. So, um, very cool band. Dom from Integrity. He was also in a band called Pulling Teeth. Uh, um, he wrote a lot of this stuff during the pandemic. And um, I think he just kind of gathered together this, you know, a lineup of a bunch of dudes that he wanted to be in a band with. And they recorded it. And it's incredible, man. It's, you know, it's it's integrity meets all out war. But it also has all of these other guys influences, you know, between Pig Destroyer and Exhumed. I mean, you can tell, you know, that there's a, a good craftsmanship of musicians going on here. So very heavy metal but very hardcore still, you know, it's just a perfect blending of metal and hardcore and yeah, and fucking I, rips. Definitely I got to catch up on some of this shit, but the imagery is dope. And I love yep. the T-shirt. That shit looks dope. Yeah. And then um, we got some more shit. Teardrop. I, I, now, the Teardrop, I mess with. I haven't heard. I have, I have to catch up on a lot of this, but I like all the other Teardrop stuff that yeah. we, we covered in the past. This is new. This is called Hell on Earth. Yep. It's a single. Um. And I want to hear it. it says classic teardrop. So I want to hear it because um, I remember them being very heavy. Yeah, no, you'll and, love it. And again, it's Texas. So, yeah. I mean, it's Texas uh, members from Bitter End. Uh, that's what know. I my favorite. Some of my favorite redheaded yep. people, you know, Bitter End right there. <laughs> and OG Texas yes. get locked up in New York City. All that. Oh, they got they got records in New York. Texas is man. Yeah. I'm doing a record. Listen, Texas, I need to do an album in Texas. All right. So get at me. Yeah. We're we're doing something in Texas. But uh, 
yeah, but shot. That's good to see them. The 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 record is ill. It's like a la victim in pain, you know, yeah. original style, like crazy. Yeah, very a, cool. a little bow thrower. Yeah, um, right. Imagery yep. right there, the the little symbol thing there. Yeah, but dope. Great recording on this too. Great production. So it's another one of those records that just sounds massive. You know, I mean, the songs the songs are big and heavy. Very cool. Uh, you know, chorus fear factory style even yeah, um so cool. and the recording being so nice and whatever just makes it just sound so much bigger and better so shout out to teardrop shout out to griff oh, shout yeah. out to eli and all those bitter oh, dudes oh yeah for sure they've been doing it and they always and they always love the hard shit yeah though, man, i gotta texas. say though, though. yeah texas bro. i'm doing a record in texas that's it yep. what else we got uh, this is cool. New band, new word band called Twist of Cain. Um, kind of in the Troy core style of things. You know, that's kind of a resurgence that's been coming back is a little bit more of the heavier, you know, Troy beat down stuff. So this is cool in that stigmata, Marauder Lane, Dying Breedish. Uh, I've been seeing the name a lot. I thought it was a cool name. I mean, I know the song from Danzig. Yeah. So, uh, you know. It instantly it, it I recognized it. So it's just a name that I've been seeing a lot and I've been paying a little bit more attention to. And uh this is the new single and it's very cool. So check it out, you know, just new shit. No, definitely. And all you new bands <clears throat> keep sending send your music. A lot of you guys yeah. hit my personal why I, I send you to either hit up um the smoking word page or the heavy collective page. Hit up the smoking word page. Um Everything will just get gathered there. Things get lost on my on my personal page. But um, new band, send us your music. We're always checking out or trying to check out everything we could get. And, you know, same thing with new labels, you know, any push yep. we could do on our side. That's what we this is, that's what it's all about. But, you know, the, I, was, I was just talking about it um, recently to somebody, um, you know, being able to do the show again made me a fan again of a lot of the music. So yeah. it's always good to check out. Um, a lot of new bands, and I've been hitting up a lot of shows. I got to check out um, not too long ago. Um, shout out to Turnstile. Um, um, they came through with um Blink One Eighty Two, and Turnstile mm -hmm. did that thing, and it's good to see them, you know, representing, and you know they're out there, and and that's why um shout out to everybody who follows the show. You know, uh, the whole point it keeps us in the mix, and we try to keep everybody out there in the mix with everything going on because we know life. Doesn't let us go to every show. Yeah, but we and know not for our... nothing. That was always my thing. You know, was like that's what we do. Is uh, as you get old in this thing, you, you hand things down to the younger kids. You know, like yep. you can't hang out of the crown forever as much as you want to. I feel like sometimes it's better to pass it down and let the kids, you know, sort of uh, help lead the future and whatever. So, um, but you know, we're always here. You're never going to get rid of us. So we have to do our our duty and report what we at least, uh, you know, what we're living and feeling. Exactly. And for everybody, you know, because it's a soul, it's a it's not it's not a physical thing. It's something an inside thing. So you yeah. don't want to physically got to be there to no. be a part of it or to support it. Make sure you tune in. Hit the link right there. Keep supporting the channel. The hard corner. Listen, we're going to be go I'm gone for one week and then we'll be back with that regular programming. You understand? And Busky, I got uh, we're going to talk later, but I got some new ideas, some new stuff we're going to add to the show. We want to bring a couple guests to come in live and tap in with everybody. But uh, make sure you hit the link. Support the Patreon. Like, subscribe. Go hire Busky to go do some type of layout for you. <laughs> go hire me to go eat at your restaurant, to go yeah. smoke your, your, your chronic. Yeah. And support the channel, YouTube, the Hard Corner Boys, the spot where the news brings you the news. We out of here, Gator Fool, to next week. What well, to the All week right. after next? We out. Peace. Peace.